Theon has returned to Pike as an envoy from King Robb Stark. Yara rides out to greet him, posing as a commoner to get the measure of her brother. She offers him a lift on her horse up to the castle Pike. He does not recognize her and is relentless in his attempts to seduce her. He presents Robb's suggested alliance to their father, Balan Greyjoy. Balan roundly rejects the terms, insisting that he is ironborn and will seize his crown. He compares Theon unfavorably to Yara, revealing her identity. He says that Yara will lead his assault. Balan details a plan to attack the poorly defended North while Robb is distracted by his war with House Lannister. Yara is assigned thirty ships to seize Deepwood Mott, the stronghold of House Glover, while Theon is given a single ship to raid fishing villages along the stony shore. Theon is baptized by a drowned man on the shores of Pike in a show of loyalty to his blood relatives. Balan and Yara watch as he proclaims his faith in the drowned god. Yara assembles her ships at Red Harbor. She rides to Lordsport to reach her fleet and encounters Theon struggling to command his unruly crew. She seizes the opportunity to mock him again. Her men would wait a year for her if need be, but Theon's crew is not loyal to him. Yara's force takes Deepwood Mott as planned, but Theon ignores his orders and captures Winterfell instead by luring the garrison, led by Roderick Castle, out to defend Torin Square. He writes to Yara to request reinforcements to hold the castle. He announces to the assembled people of Winterfell that she will be sending him 500 men. She learns that he has executed Bran Stark and Rickon Stark, who were actually two orphans from a local farm, for attempting to escape captivity. She rides to Winterfell with only 20 men and tries to convince Theon to return home with her to avoid retribution from Robb Stark, but fails. Theon is subsequently captured by House Bolton, 